Whaler's Dauntless series is something akin to the bay boat genre of fishing boats. These models have the relatively low sides, big casting decks fore and aft, and the other fishing features like live wells that you commonly find on this type of boat. But the Dauntless is also something more, with features like this big comfy lounge. And this big head compartment. But today, we're not just on any Dauntless, we're on the 270. This is the largest that Whaler offers in the series, and it doesn't just have something more, it has a whole lot more. This lounger I was sitting on a moment ago is a great example of what I mean. Not only is it here, it also has armrests and cup holders. And when you look at this, look at the hinges on this armrest. This is a serious piece of metal. That's not gonna break. The entire forward casting deck creates another feature that you just gotta love. Naturally, it's got non-skid on top, so you can use it as a casting deck when you wanna go fishing, but pop open this compartment and you learn a whole lot more, and there's a lot to like. For example, you've got a gas assist strut that holds the hatch up. It's fully finished on both sides. It's gasketed, and it drains directly overboard. Added bonus on a Boston Whaler, since there's foam blown in between the glass inner and outer hulls, pretty much every compartment is thoroughly insulated. You throw a bag of ice in there, it's gonna last. There's an additional compartment in the center of the forward deck. Again, draining overboard, comes up on a gas assist strut, and of course you've got your anchor locker all the way up forward, and look at that, a windlass inside. Here's another thing you gotta love about this forward deck. It's got cushions. Put them in place, you snap them down, now you got extra seating or sun pad, whatever you like. Now, on a lot of boats, I would say that's great, but oh, what a, what a pain in the butt. You gotta find somewhere to put all these cushions when you wanna go fishing. Often, that really means you gotta take them off at home and stack them up in the garage. Ah, wait a second, on this boat, that big forward lounge also becomes a big, giant storage compartment and it will hold all these cushions and then some. It's a piece of cake. Like the forward deck, the aft deck is set up for fishing and has seating, but you're not gonna find a seat this big or this comfortable on many boats of this type. Look at how high that backrest is. But wait, there's more. All you do is lift up on the bottom here and you can access a big stowage compartment that's got room for fishing tackle, wakeboards, whatever you want to stow in there. Anglers will love the fact that not only is there a pair of rod holders up forward in the gunnel and a pair in the back of the post, there are five in the aft deck. And if that's still not enough for you, no problem, there are four more up on the T-top. The helm is very straightforward. You've got room here for two units. If this was my boat, I would certainly want a second screen right there. There are lighted rocker switches. Your VHF goes here, and your engine monitor goes right here. This particular leaning post configuration gets you the flip down bolster seats, it gets you the live well, the sink, the cooler underneath. But this is just one of several different configurations you can opt for. In fact, there's some other options that aren't on this specific model that you need to know about. Other than this leaning post, what options are there that people might want to get to sort of semi-customize the boat to their tastes? Well, fortunately, we have Doug here with us from Whaler to tell us. Doug, what's a really big option that people love to get on this boat? Interestingly, we have a dive patio option that basically the gunnel folds down, lays out over the water, has a swim, uh, a swim platform attached to it. It allows access in and out of the water. Extremely popular. Yeah, it sounds pretty nifty. Yes, it is. It's, it's very... Another popular configuration instead of the twin 225s is that you can get a single 350 and the performance is awesome. Now I'm sure in a number of ways having a single on this boat makes a lot of sense, but I like the 450 horses. Let's go see what they can do. I get it. Set at a cruising speed of 4,000 RPMs, we zipped across the water surface at 35 miles an hour while burning 17.5 gallons per hour. But opened all the way up, we hit a top end of 58 miles an hour. Despite the low profile of the bow on this boat, we stayed completely dry. In fact, it never threw a bit of spray. 
And remember folks, this whaler has a very bay boat like 18 degrees of transom dead rise. Now that minimizes draft and enhances stability quite a bit. The real shocker is we can run out here in the open ocean and that guy up there with the camera can still film this. Whaler's glass foam glass construction method gets some of the credit for the good ride too. By pumping polyurethane foam between the hull and the deck liner, eliminating all voids, there's no rattling, no vibrations, the boat feels solid. Can the Boston Whaler 270 Dauntless function purely as a fishing boat, as a bay boat? Yeah, you bet it can. But spend a day on one and you'll find out it can be a whole lot more. <laughs>